Hey everyone, what's up? Mariah here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing how to synchronize the steps of a mapped key across multiple characters, because that is not the default behavior by any means. Now, I don't think a lot of people are gonna run into this in their more basic profiles that they have, but when you start getting advanced, you start trying new and crazy things and experimenting, um, you may likely run into this problem. So what I've got set up here, the default setup is that I've got this example, I've created five click bars, and this mapped key here is gonna cycle through those click bars. The mapped key itself doesn't actually do anything. The click bars are just a visualization to show what step uh, everybody is currently on. So what happens with the default setup is, here's step one, two, three, and then if for some reason you wanna move over to another character and have them start from four, it doesn't happen. They start from one. It's because the state of the mapped key is preserved per character, per window, if you will. So I can move to five, move to one, it wraps back around, and then I want this character to pick up at four. I mean, <laughs> I want this character to pick up at two, however, they move to four instead because wherever they last left off is where they'll pick back up. And that's, in this case, not what we want. We want each character to pick up where the last one left off. So we'll clear this, we'll come back in here. And the, it's very easy to fix this, very easy. You just add an action, it's under key map actions and it's called mapped key step action. Mapped key step action. Now, the target, The target is fairly important, I think. You, you generally just want to work with a specific set of characters that need to stay synced. Now, if this is your entire character set, then you can set this to all without current. Because the current window where you're executing this from is going to push through these steps normally, right? So you want, if you want the rest of your group to just follow along, you can use all without current. But if you have a specific group of like three out of five of your characters or three out of 15 of your characters, how many ever you multi-box? Uh, you should be using an action target group or an advanced target. If you're not familiar with those, there are links in the description for that. So when you first create the action, uh, it will just start in the key map and map key that you're currently in. If you need this to be different, then change it. Uh, I do not need it to be different, so I'm going to leave it. And there's two ways to advance throughout steps. There's a way, there's an, an adder and even though it just says, even though it says add, if you add a negative number, it is subtracting. So I guess let me give the example for that in the next step. But what we want to do in this case is we want to push forward one step, right? So we're on step one, we want to move, we want all without current, everybody else besides the main window, to move along with us. Now this doesn't mean they're gonna execute any of the actions in the step, it just means they're gonna to move to the next step. And they're gonna to move to the next step as many times as we tell them. Now the alternative way to do this is to specifically set the step of this mapped key, specifically set the step in the dropdown. Um, if you want to just say we're on step one, if you want to hard code this to be step two, that's fine as well. But the easy way to copy and paste this action to move through a sequence in this case, in this particular case, is to just add one. So what I'll do is I'll copy this, we'll move to two, I'll paste this, and here you can, still, you can see we're still adding one. Now, if for some reason I wanted to go back to step one, I would actually add a negative one because two plus negative, forget the signs, two plus negative one is one, right? So there's some math for you, but we don't want that. We wanna just move nice and smooth through all the steps. So I'll just continue to paste these actions. We're on three plus one is gonna move us down to four paste this into four, you can see plus one is gonna move this into five. And then of course, um, hold on, let me, okay. Just trying to refresh things so they look all right. Uh, what happens here is that you can still add one at the, end of a, at the end of a sequence. It doesn't mean it's gonna push to a non-existent step six in my case. It means it's just gonna wrap around to the start. And that's the default behavior of a multi-step mapped key. Um, so with this in place, let me export this. We'll see how this works. 
So, one, two, three, and this guy over here should pick up at four. And he does, just like he should. And we, move, we wrap back around to one, and instead of moving to four, this character should move to two. Now, three is just a visual state. It's the last click bar that was just visually set there. But internally, she is on step two. That's where she's at. So then we move back here, this guy would be step three. Move back here, this guy would be step four. Just like that. Now, I do have a clear, uh, I do have a map key that clears this from, uh, from all the characters and then resets them to step one. And the way I do that is I use that second option. All I'm doing is I'm clearing the click bars here. But here is where I'm setting everyone back to step one. So this is an example on why you would hard code people, uh, people, characters, <laughs> to go back to um, a certain step or go forward to a certain step. So if you want to reset everybody back to the beginning of a sequence, it's very easy just to use a uh, set to specific step here instead because everybody may actually um, be on a different step. Depending on how you have things set up, man, this is very, very custom. You, um, but this is how you do it. This is how you keep things in, in, in sync with everything, with everybody else. And um, that's it. That's it. Very simple, very quick video. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Rye out.